story of the Leopard Trail is far more than just a, a great iconic hike. Almost every hiker's bucket list of must-do hikes. Ten years ago, the idea of the Leopard Trail was really born around the campfire by the team at the Cedar Falls. Uh, you know, we were dwarfed by the night sky, there were silhouettes of the magnificent mountains of the Babyans World Heritage Site, and it was really calling us to do something special. So the next day we worked through the plan of how it could work, what would be required, we really thought about how to set it up as a community project. The best routes were going to take us into, into the reserve, and for that we needed the Eastern Cape Parks and Tourism Agency to agree to the project. We really needed their permission and cooperation and partnership to send hikers into these great Babylon's mountains. And that's what happened over the next few months. The Parks Board really became an enthusiastic partner, supporting the idea wholeheartedly. It was five or six years into the project when we received an unexpected and surprising call from the ECPTA. Uh, through a partnership with the National Department of Tourism, they had been able to secure funds for the building of huts on the trail. The huts are now complete and are superb. The Leopard Trail is consistently included in almost every magazine article's must-do hikes in South Africa. We've all been aligned on this vision of an iconic hike, but one that had far more meaning than that. One that was fundamentally about creating a community-owned and run opportunity within a park sport land that really transformed the opportunities facing people who lived here. Ik ben een beetje 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 een beet